Hello, Carmen. How are you? Hi, teacher. Fine. And you? I'm okay. I'm expecting your classmates to come. You know, in a couple of minutes, we are going to start. Okay. Is it is it raining there? Good evening, Edwin. No, Oscar. Oh, Oscar, sorry. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's raining here. Every single day from this week has been raining, right? Let's see. Edwin, hello, how are you? Anna Yancy. Anna Yancy. Let's see. Oscar, hello. Did you complete the platform to, today, right? Yes. I don't have any problem, any more problem. Okay, very good. Yes, that is the idea to try in different ways because I I, I had some other students who were telling me that the platform was given the same problem. So I recommended to put the answers in different ways. Mm -hmm. Yes, but thank you for the support. Okay, don't worry. Katia, you finished the platform. Okay, very good. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So I guess that, uh, well, in two days, we are going to check the last topics and we are going to be finished with this course by the next month. If you continue, you will go to the module number six. And after that, by September, you'll be taking the intermediate level. Hello, Susie, hello. Okay, so we are going to start now because you are very punctual. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to pass the attendance list right now. Uh, let's see, Alfonso, Alfonso. Okay, Alfonso. Ana Yancy. Ana Yancy, okay. Carmen is here. Present. Cesar. Present. Claudia is not here. Claudia is not here, right? No, okay. Danis? Danis hasn't arrived yet, okay. Dolores Araí? Neither. Eduardo Ernesto? Present. Okay. Uh, Edwin? Present, teacher. Okay. Let's see, Fidel? Not here yet. And Karina? Karina is not here. Wow. All right. Katia is here. Lourdes is not here. Luis neither. Nelson. Nelson Ivan. Yes, he is here. Present teacher. Okay. Oscar. Oscar is here. And Susie that is driving as far as I could perceive. Let's see, Claudia just, no, Sarai, 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 it's here. Okay, guys, Danis, good night, Danis, good night. We're about to finish the class. <laughs> okay, so guys, good evening, officially. We are about to start right now. And well, remember that the ISA for poll is going to be done this coming Friday during the class. La, la encuesta la vamos a realizar durante la hora clase el día viernes, okay? So don't miss class on Friday. No se me vayan a, 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 a perder el día viernes, okay? Asegúrense de, de estar presentes eh, ahí por las que por alrededor de la, bueno, durante la clase. No les podría dar una hora exacta, pero sí, tengan por seguro que el día viernes, durante la clase, vamos a hacer eh, la encuesta, ¿ok? Ok. So, tonight we have, um, well, it's not complicated, but it's a little bit confusing. 
we are going to learn tonight about how to use if and when to join clauses. All right, how to use if and when to join clauses. Clauses are sentences, statements, okay? So, for example, in some cases, you will have the word if at the beginning of the sentence or in the middle to introduce or to join another sentence. That means two sentences in one, but using if or when to make the connection, all right? So this is the class number 18. That means two more classes and we finish the course, all right? Before we continue, I'd like to know how much you remember from the previous class. What was the topic from the previous class? Let's see if you remember. The use of food. Okay. The use of food. So when do I use could? When do I use could? Mm -hmm. Do you remember? When do I use could? When you when you need a permission. Okay, when you need permission. Or uh, what else do I use could? Which other actions? A recommendation and suggestion suggestion when they are an affirmative sentence and for request permission if you are talking with question mark. Yes, okay, very good. Thank you. So can you give me some examples, guys, using could? Mm -hmm. Think about some examples using could and tell me. You could, you could rent a car. You could? Rent a car. Okay, perfect. You could rent a car. That is a suggestion. Thank you. Another example, please. Mm -hmm. You you could go to the office. Okay, very good. You could go to the office. That is a suggestion. Suggestion. Thank you. One more example, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you One could, more example. You could ask a question in the class. Okay. Recommendation, right? Suggestion. You could ask questions in the class. Very good. Yes, because if you don't understand, yes. the most recommendable thing is to ask the <clears throat> teacher, right? Okay. Very good. So let's see. We were talking also about the policies in your companies. Do you remember something about the policies, guys? For example, in the company um, have a rule with the employees? Mm -hmm. The rules, can you mention one rule that you have in your company, Lourdes? Um, use helmet in in the plant. Okay, use the helmet. Wear the helmet. Very good. Wear. Thank you. Is there something else that you remember from the previous class, guys? Something that you remember from the previous class? Something else? No? Lo veo bien callado, soy. <laughs> Yo sé que me van a extrañar, pero relax. <laughs> ok, solo va a ser una semana de vacaciones. Ok, so let's see. Is there something else or can we continue? Continue. Ok, very good. Yeah. So let me see. We have two more questions to consider. I want active participation in this case. For example, the question number one, what happens if an employee in your company shows up late? 
Imagine arrive late to the company. What happens? Do you receive a discount? Do you receive a discount in your payment? Uh, you are punished? Or what happens to you if one day you show up late? Oh, but man, we close we we close as a question. What is the reason? For example, an, an emergency or a problem, a problem. Okay, so you are a little bit flexible, Oscar. Yes, but not all days. Uh, Okay. They come late all the time, no. Uh -huh. Because imagine, an employee tells you, uh, I came today really late because there was uh, a traffic jam. There yes. was a lot of traffic. So you are flexible in that way or what can happen in that case? Only twice a year. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But it's all the way and very stranger, no. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you, Oscar. Another opinion, guys, about the first question. What happens? I think, in, uh -huh, go ahead. I think the the chief will give a warning to the employees. Okay. What type of warning? Well, maybe a recommendation and tell said him, you could give a get up more early to avoid the, to be here late. Okay. So I want you to put yourself on my shoes. Imagine that you are teachers, teachers in any class at any workplace. And there are some students that always show up late what would you do would you talk to them or would you just uh, you know lower the grades for example if the student has 10 you will assign eight because he or she shows up late always what would you do mm -hmm. Mm. Good question, teacher. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> notify. Notify. Okay. Notify. To your Probably, supervisors. Uh, no. Is the DNG? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. The, 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 well, management general. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you notify. You, you don't notify. talk. You don't talk to the student. You don't talk what? to, for example, you don't talk to the student. You only go and say the the notification, and that's it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Okay, very good. So I can see that you are flexible, guys. You are flexible, uh, and that's good. And my case. <laughs> okay. The okay. other the other partner, no. No, no flexible. No, no flexible. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. see. Let me ask somebody else. What would they do? Katia, what would you do, for example, if a student always show up late? Teacher, can you repeat, please? Yes. What would you do if a student always shows up late? Un estudiante que siempre le llega tarde a la clase. What would you do? Mm -hmm. um, talk with her or with, with him for what happened and depends the situation. For example, um, like uh, for he is a work working mm -hmm. um, 
no sé, eh, I don't know how do you say considera, considera, consideraría. Consider. Ajá, uh -huh. I consider um, for my student and um, I could <laughs> um, dar permiso, have a, to, a give. Permission, mm -hmm. to give a, a permission, permission okay. uh, at the student. Okay, very good. Very flexible teacher. That very <laughs> flexible. Thank you. And in the question number two, guys, what do you do when you're sick and can't work? Mm -hmm. What do you do when you're sick and you can't work? Imagine yesterday, uh, I mean, tomorrow, you wake up and you are like, oh, I feel sick. I feel like with a headache, stomach, throwing up and everything. Message. What do you do? Message. Message. Okay. You send phone. a message to your boss. Yes. Okay. Very good. So let's see. For tonight, we have the conversation practice. I want you to pay attention to the pronunciation of any specific word that you consider is difficult to pronounce and get ready because after this practice we are going to go into the breakup rooms and complete the next activities all right so the conversation as you can see is between two people Brad and Annie so I'm going to start reading it pay attention please hi Annie how's it going hello Brad I am fine and you I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss call him or her, and when the person returns, he or she receives a, not a notification or warning. Why, Brett? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Okay, so that is the, the, the conversation. And as you can see, we have these bold letters. That is the topic for tonight. When, when? and if. Okay, do you know the meaning of when and if? Do you know what they mean? No. No, when? No. Cuando? Cuando? If? Si. Sí. No oh. si de respuesta, no si de respuesta, sino que es un si sí como de conditional. Como que yo te pongo una condición. Por ejemplo, eh, si tú estudias inglés, Mejoras tu pronunciación. Sample. If you study English, you improve mm -hmm. your pronunciation. Mm -hmm. Okay? Conditional. It's like a, a conditional. Okay? So mm -hmm. pay attention that these mm -hmm. words can be in the middle of the sentence or can be at the beginning of the sentence. All right? But I'm going to explain that later. Right now, you are going to practice in the breakup rooms. Remember to switch always. And after that, you are going to uh, unscramble the statements below. Put in orders. Put in orders the words to make sentences or questions. All right? You have two sentences in one question. Tell me, did you watch the video for tonight? The topic was introducing new employees and the best places to start a business by open form. Did you watch it? No? Uh, no. The truth is no. no. Okay, very good. I like your sincerity. Okay, very good. No problem. No problem. I know that you work, that you are busy people, and that's under understandable. 
That's why I'm going to give you this space for you to watch the video if you haven't watched it yet and get ready to answer these questions, okay? Well, in fact, it's only one question about the video. What's a good strategy to get a new employee enrolled with the company's policies, all right? And on the other side, we are going to discuss about the article that it's in the book. The topic of that article is asking for permission, working out loud. You have to read the article in the breakup rooms. I recommend that one member in the group is the moderator, all right? For example, Carmen is the moderator. She says, Daniel, you read the first paragraph, Katia, you read the paragraph number two, and she assigns who reads what, uh, which paragraph, okay? When you finish reading the paragraph, you discuss about the article, okay? I'm going to be checking you and I'm going to be helping you. Don't worry. Are the activities clear for tonight, guys? Or do you have any questions? No, no teacher. No questions, okay. So we are about to start right now. Let me send you to the breakup rooms. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Uh, could you put the screen, the, the second activity, please? Ah, please. okay. Okay, give me a second. The second activity, this one. This, the article? No. The, the video? Previous, the previous number five, slide number five. Okay. This is... Uh, that one? No, this. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. So let me send you to the breakup rooms, guys. Get ready. And I need active participation, okay? Participate. Don't be shy. It's okay to make mistakes. All right. Can you please join the rooms, guys? Teacher, I join it, but I don't know why, but I, I'm involved that. right now. Uh -huh. I moved you to room number two. I thought that you had problems. Okay. Um, could you send me the, the access, please? Okay, join the rooms, please. I send you the... No, you haven't. No, teacher, we haven't the, the access or the option. Oh, okay, uh -huh. give me. No, me no me no, yo tampoco. Okay, give me a second. Let's see. Carmen, Carmen is here. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Claudia, no yet? No, teacher. Okay, let me see where are you. Oh, you are in room seven. I'm going to send you with Lourdes because Lourdes is alone. Okay, go with Lourdes. Teacher, estoy teniendo problemas, así que estoy con el celular y con... Con la compu. Okay, okay, don't worry. Pero estoy, 
estaba con lo urde, solo que no, 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 creo que no supo ella. Ok, voy a entrar por el celular para mientras. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok. Oscar, ya le llegó la, la notificación. Oscar. No, fíjese que no, no me aparece. Vaya, lo voy a enviar al room 2, pero después le va a caer para el room 3 con Carmen. Bueno. ¿Puede verlo? Hi Miss. Hello. <laughs> Hi Susie. You Hi didn't Miss. Show up yesterday. Hello. Yes, because I have a I have a ten something personal. I can I can do connect. Okay. And today I I am connect, but I I have. Como digo, venía. I am driving. I was driving. Yes, I was driving. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Karina is be happy. Be happy. Yes, don't worry, be happy. Okay, I thought Lourdes, no, Saray. Sí, es que teacher, este, estoy desde el teléfono y hasta ahorita estoy encendiendo la compu. Entonces, no sé si me pueden mandar a la cuatro. La cuatro, no, o sea que eh, ahorita está desde el teléfono aquí. Ahorita estoy desde el teléfono, pero ya estoy encendiendo la compu, pero... Creo que me puso en la sala 5. En la, en, en la... Estamos en la 4. Okay. Sí, en la 4. Sí, Ay, ¿Quieres eso. estar aquí? Muchas gracias. Okay. Okay. Sí. Ah, es que estoy desde colores? el teléfono. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so let's practice. Yes, thank you. Dolores. Miss. Okay, Miss. You, Dolores. Miss, ¿Sí? Ahorita. Ahorita. Okay. Ahorita. No voy a salir de la Ay, si es la no misma Dolores. De la sí. Ahí, Molina, no sí. Sí. Lo que pasa es que los están engañando. Lo que pasa es que los están engañando. Ay, Dolores. A mí me engaño. You are bad, Dolores. Pero hoy sí ya voy a estar solo en esta sala. Ok, ok. Ay, no. Y César Ejani. Ajá, para invertir, perfecto. Ajá. Sí. Bye. Hi, Bye. Annie. How it's, is it going? Hello, Brand. I am fine. And you? I am okay, thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, if some, some, someone doesn't come, my boss ca call him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification of or warning. We run. Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. 
Y ahora le falta a Claudia ser no, Brad. Brad. Brand. Yo sería Annie. Ajá. Yes. Uh -huh. Hi, Annie. How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? I am okay. Thanks. Look, I want to ask you, what does your boss do when a uh, worker doesn't come to work? Well, if someone doesn't come, my boss calls him or her. And when the person returns, he or she receives a notification or warning. Why, Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explain him the situation. Yeah, I think I will do that. Thanks, Annie. Ok, hoy sí ya practicamos todos. <ríe> Vaya, nos vamos con las preguntas. Ay, qué bonitas son de ordenar. Continue the question. Ok, continue ah. the question. Um... Um, she when she when um, but no son tan vaya, sencillas. <laughs> when a notification no when, quizás no. sería como the employee when. the employee eh Receive o oh, de employee de employee receives a notification when she arrives. Qué raro es esa oración. Porque este, dice she. Ajá, pero si lo hacemos. Sujeto predicado y todo eso, o sea. Porque miren en la en la que dice Annie, dice, y cuando la persona retorna, él o ella recibe una notificación. Ah. ah. Entonces podría ser, when the employee arrives, she receives a notification. Uh -huh. Así es. Va. Correct, teacher. Sorry, I was assigning a classmate. Tell me again. Ah, okay. When when the employee arrives, ah, ya me olvido. When the employee <laughs> when the employee arrives, uh -huh, she receives a notification. Mm, yeah, it can be. That is one option. Yes, it's okay. okay. Hello, tell me. Hello. We have a question. Tell me. With the sentence two. We think uh, lost a word. Mm -hmm. You miss a word. No. Yeah, no. because we miss or... a word. Okay. Because the question is, what does your boss do uh -huh. when a worker doesn't go to work? Exactly. Pero the, the, the word when is not appear here. Uh -huh. So you include it. Yes. Uh -huh. You can include it. Ah, okay. Thank you, teacher. Uh -huh. No problem. Okay. Ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Para ver si estamos en la jugada, Iba. <laughs> okay. No, okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. okay. Gracias. Okay. Rice at the employees receives, no sería, the employees receives a notification. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So vamos así. Receives. Receives a notification. Okay. ¿Cómo dijimos que era? <laughs> ya lo olvidé. Okay. Employees when no lo olvidé. Como dijimos. Vaya, porque aquí cuando debe ser. Es que ya la habíamos armado y, y ya lo olvidé. 
Y la teacher apareció y nos dijo, no sí, ponernos nerviosos. <risa> ok. When she arrives, when she arrives, the employees receive receives a notification. Mm -hmm. No. No. It's it's the other way around. It's al revés. When when the reside. employer reside. when she arrives, the employees receives a notification. No. When the when the she and the other the other way. Repeat, please. Repeat la como la tiene. When she. When she. Okay. Yeah. Entonces sería when the employee. When the employee. Mm -hmm. When the employee yeah. arrives. Mm -hmm. When the employee arrives. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. The employee arrives. 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 She. Employee arrives. She receives um she receives besides notification a notification five right a notification. Okay. And the next one. Su jefe trabaja. Dice. What? What? Questions, yes, well, I'm sorry. Yeah, what? What? What does your boss? What does your boss? What do your boss? Sí, ¿qué hace tu jefe? Ese día. ¿Qué pasa cuando su... Eh, pasa? Brad say, Brad, Brad say, what does your boss do you when a worker doesn't come to work? Mm -hmm. Yes. Ahora recuérdenme otra vez. <laughs> Aquí dice su jefe. ¿Qué hace su jefe what? cuando usted no va a trabajar? Algo así, digamos, que dice? ¿verdad? No hace nada porque uno hace todo, le dice. <laughs> Happy. <laughs> no, 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 mi jefe, mi jefe sí trabaja. <laughs> okay, what does? El lift. Okay, está incorrecta. It's another question. Tell me. In the second activity, the unscramble the the statement. Mm -hmm. In the second uh, statement, the or no, I don't know the the words is 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 correct. Tell me. I think the correct order is what. Does your work, your boss, do when a worker does not go to work? Pero el buen no está. O sea, mm -hmm. nosotros lo hemos agregado. Uh -huh. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Está bueno. Ya vemos que están en la jugada. Uh -huh. Están poniendo atención. Okay. Okay. Worker, uh -huh. El buen hacía falta ahí, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Está bien, así que lo hayan agregado. 
A persona de esa edad. Por ahí vamos apenas. Ahí vamos, ¿ok? La otra. Dime. Este, hay un artículo que no había visto yo. Lo siento, que como estoy trabajando, tengo bastante ahora. Ahí mismo, la, el artículo también lo vamos a hacer, teacher. Yes. You have to read the article. Ok. Ajá, uh -huh. yes. Eh, you have to, eh, to ¿Puede mostrarnos qué es lo que vamos a contestar de, del video y del artículo? Yes, sure. Give me a second. Sí. Ok, uh, you have this for the video. For the video, it's only one question. Hold on. What's a good strategy to get a new employee enrolled with the company's policies? That is the question. And you will have free space to give opinions about the video. All right? Okay. okay, this is about the video. And about the article, you have this. You have to read it and you have to discuss about what you understood on the topic. You and, and your classmate, Eduardo, Edwin. Yeah. Okay. Este, so, solo que, teacher, uh -huh. I'm sorry, pero este día tengo bastante trabajo y casi no puedo ser de ayuda para Eduardo. Ah, okay. Ah, el uh -huh. So, Eduardo, do you want to continue here with him? Yes, I guess that you can make it. Yeah, it yeah. doesn't mind. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's your article about asking permission. Okay, so you can continue. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Okay. Asking permission. tarde ella llama a su jefe um, no a ver. sí ajá porque es como condicional y if y ahí sería ah, if I sería if I I if I eh, show up show es verdad up, sí uh -huh. if I Show up. Do you know what is the meaning of show up in Spanish? No. Llegar. ¿Qué significa show up en, en Spanish? Uh-huh. Yeah. No. Is similar arrive, teacher? Yes. Oh, ahora sí. Teacher, pero mira, ya, ya hablando en español porque si no, no me entiendo. <risa> no voy a poder, mejor dicho, no, no me va a entender, si no, no me voy a poder expresar. No, 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 no le voy a saber explicar. <risa> Las oraciones, eso no les hay lógica, porque para mí le hacen falta el when o el if. Number two. Like, okay. En la number two, uh -huh, uh -huh. sobre todo en la number two. You have to include when. Ah, ok, yes, aunque yes. la indicación no lo diga. Ajá, exacto. Es just to check if you are paying attention. Ah, ah ok. okay. <laughs> y incluso en la primera, ¿verdad? Ah, uh, no. En la primera, one you have when. You have when. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh -huh. Va, entonces. Eh, entonces en la segunda la tenemos buena. Sí. Sí, porque le agregamos el when. Do when a work and doesn't, doesn't go to work. Uh -huh. to work. Uh -huh. Sí, está buena. Ahora vamos a Hoy la decir, otra sería If I show, I show up, up Me aparece como La traducción es aparecer aparece. Ajá, llegar sí. uh -huh. If I show up Caerle <risa> <risa> Ok Ah, no, 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 no No, 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 es If I don't show up don't. to work, Entonces, ajá, porque no I llegó. call my boss. Uh -huh. If I don't 
show don't show, don't show up. up to work. My boss. Work. I call my boss. I. I. Call my call, boss. Call my boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. okay so you finish. I. You finish this activity, right? Yes, te falta la quebradera de cabeza. Yes. <risa> okay. Fue como el rompecabezas. Qué bueno que estas no estaban en la plataforma tan así, porque si no, no todavía. <risa> ok, no, this is just for practice. And, sí. well, after this, you have to watch the video. Did you watch the yes. video? No. No. But in this I moment, no, yes. teacher. Ok, and my you problem have to read... is, mm -hmm. uh, My problem is... Eh, a time, no sería, está bien. The time, el tiempo. The, The time. time, I, I home and come, come, I back, the, I work, no, come back, I work, no sería bien. To work, I uh, hope to, to come back from work, to home. Uh -huh. Is a, uh, a, uh, 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 no, ya me, ya me confundí. Pero llego a casa, Fly. estoy en un programa en la empresa, entonces llego a casa y llego corriendo a, a meterme a otra plataforma para recibir un, unas capacitaciones. Y luego me paso a esta, entonces no tuve tiempo de ver el video. Teacher, I'm sorry. Ok, no te preocupes. Entonces, pay atención a la pregunta en el video. No es necesario verlo, solo para tener una idea. But the article, yes, the article, yes. You have to discuss about the article right now in the group. So you Entonces, no vemos el video. No, don't watch the video. Just um, let me read see. the article. Uh -huh. Read the article. Okay. Do you want me to share article. the article with you? Yes. I, 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 I... Who is presenting? Lower this is presenting. No, no. No, you're not presenting. Espérenme, voy a poner el, art el artículo. Ah, you have it. Yes, yes. Ok, go ahead. Espérenme, espérenme, por favor. Compartir. Aquí tenía el video, pero vamos a mejor leer el audio. Ah. ¿Lo, ¿Lo ven? ¿El video? Sí. Ah, el texto, sí, yes, sí. yes. Ah, vale. Uh -huh. Vale, entonces dice asking for permiso. The say was that I have not asked for permission and that is The morning of my talk, so I received a practice call and email from my boss at 7 a.m. It turned out his boss, who ironically Hi, Miss. Hello. I'm trying to. There. Okay. We show them the video, but I, I can, I can, I can do. They hear me. Hear the, the, the audio. They don't. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Can you please read the article? Read the article. Okay. Uh -huh. The article. The, the video. It's only one question. Do you remember the okay. question that I gave you? That question is the one that I'm going to be asking, but you need to read the article. Okay, voy a ver ahorita ese. Do you have the link? Ahorita. Sí, no good dev ese. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right here. Ahorita les comparto. Yes. Este? Este yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Entonces, we see it. No good. All that. Okay. Esa es de acá. Yes. Yes. Okay. The second part of me. Okay, sí. The me say, bueno, eh, no sé cómo decir en inglés por el tiempo. Because que nos organizáramos, que nos organizáramos este, con un párrafo cada uno, chicos. Yes. 
poniendo atención para que, para que podamos completar y discutirlo. Ok. Primero los caballeros. Ah. <risa> ok. Sí. ¿Lo ve bien ahí o lo hago más grande? Quiero ver. Así está bien, así está bien. Ok. Ok. It may seem immensely, but enjoy working well by companies. More precisely, enjoy helping the people who were the heavy being an employee in large corporations for decades. Decades? I can relate to what employees experience. I know the many slim an error they have to face in the workplace and how they can affect you over time. One, oh, one on Dustin is having to ask for permission. Okay. Interpretamos este o nos vamos al otro párrafo? Sorry, I was mute. No, you continue reading. Just try to okay. read. Dennis, the, he read now, maybe Susie after uh, okay. Dolores, but you try to understand. Try to understand even though you don't discuss. Try to understand. You finish the okay. reading in the, oh, okay. Do you know what is did? No. What did, is it? It's like writing. Writing. Mm. Uh -huh. Like writing. Uh, writing. Yes, escritura. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. I see the paragraphs. No good deed. No, wait. Are... It's did, right? Yes, did. No good deed. Ah, did. Uh -huh. That is action, like action. No good, not a good action. Mm. Okay. Uh -huh. Not a okay. good action. Uh -huh. Okay. Not all companies are the same, of course, but there seems to be a mania, mania or mania? To be a mania about control, mm -hmm. about the manager having to know and approve of what each of these direct reports. Ah, the military language is doing. Something is about money. Can I buy pizza for my team to celebrate our milestones? Sometimes it is about time. Have we been invited to a free conference to learn of to learn from of their companies? May I go? Sometimes it's just about control. One time I was invited to give a talk relate to my project at other another location in my company. My division had announced a travel freeze. So I told the hot she will have to pay expense, which she did. The morning of my talk, though, I received, I can see, fronting calls and emails for, from my boss at 7 a.m. It turns out his boss, who ironical was traveling, wanted to know why I was in another city. When I explained how the event related to our goals and that there were no expenses involved, the objection they raised was that I had asked for permission and that it should never happen again. Hay palabras que no conozco. Involved. Okay. Don't worry, don't worry. Just try to try to I make understand. that. Try to get the I idea. Yeah, yes, Ajá, I have the idea. idea. Mm -hmm. The mm, idea. Okay. Because of the time, por el tiempo, verdad. No nos podemos yes. detener mucho a estar ahí. Pero si cuando termine la clase pudiéramos sacar un glossary, glossary, mm -hmm. okay. vocabulary. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Dani okay. or Dolores? Dolores? The new normal. The new no, The new normal. Okay. At the time, I thought per, per, perhaps this was about me or about 
a dysfunctional organ organization, but note that in working with a wide range of companies, I see that it quite normal. I see how the very same company who wants more innova innova innovative, agile cult cultures are the ones that systematically grow peoples of controls, either through their policies or throughout the caprice of managers trying to validate We finish. Almost. I'm reading the. Yeah, it could. Yeah. Okay. E and. No sé. Daba como distintos ejemplos. O, y también decía como al final que si usted era, era jefe, ¿cómo podría eh, actuar? ¿O cómo podría hacer con sus empleados? Y si era empleado, tenía que adaptarse como a las políticas que decía su contrato. Eh, Teacher, tell me. Eh, I'm so sorry. Eh, this day, I'm solo voy a quedar escuchando. Okay, I see that you are busy. Sí, uh -huh. yeah. Uh, really, really. Uh, mañana hay paro en Guatemala, se puede decir. Entonces estamos coordinando bastantes cosas. Ok, don't worry. Don't worry. Thanks, teacher. Ok. Karina, welcome. Hello, teacher. What's I going just, on? I just arrived because I was late on okay. my work. Ok. Did you bring the pulses for everybody? Um, no. <laughs> yes. No. So you brought tacos. Tacos, delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's see. Um, okay, guys, we are going to continue with the class, and we are going to we are going to read. We're going to practice a conversation. I'm going to choose one couple to do that. And the couple is Anayansi and Luis. Anayansi is Annie and Luis is Brad. Okay. Go ahead. Luis, are you here? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hi, Annie. How is it going? How is it going? Hello, Brad. I am fine. And you? And okay. Thank. Look, I want to ask you one: Does your boss, the when a worker doesn't come to work? Well, I someone uh, doesn't come. My boss call Jim or her, and when the person return. He or she receive a notification or warning why Brad? Well, because I didn't show up to work today. I understand. If you see your boss tomorrow, explaining the situation. Yeah. I think I will without dancing. 
Thank you, guys. Uh, the pronunciation is, in this case, any, him or her. Him or, him or her. her. Yes. Him or her. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Now, the number one on the scrambling sentence is for uh, Cesar. Cesar, can you please help me put in order these words? Number one? Yeah. Okay. When the employee arrives, she receives, receives a notification. Receives. Receives. Okay, thank you very much. And number two goes to Dennis. Okay. Um, the answer, what does your boss, the worker, doesn't go to work? Can you repeat, Dennis? Okay. Mm -hmm. What does? Uh-huh. The boss, the worker, doesn't go to work. Mm. No, what does? What does your? Boss. Uh-huh. Worker? Mm, no. 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 Let's see. I'm going to ask somebody to help you. Let, Susie, can you please help him? It's the same group. We have the same. You have the same. Okay. Yes. Lourdes, do you have something for number two? Mm, yes. Uh, what does your boss do when a worker doesn't to work? Doesn't go to work. Exactly. Thank you very much. Mm. Can you repeat for the Thank people you. to take notes? Okay. Okay. What does your boss do when a worker doesn't go to work? Perfect. Thank you. Falta el win. Uh -huh. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. But we don't use the when because because eh, okay. ahí no estaba. <laughs> <laughs> Entonces, teníamos esa duda y no entendimos que era de completarlo yeah. así, sino que era ordenar solo lo que allí estaba. Okay. Es... But it has to make sense. Pues yes. uh -huh. yes. okay. For the next. And now. Okay. And now. So let's see, Dolores Saray, can you please help me with number three? Okay. Um, I call my boss if I don't show up to work. Show up. Show up to work. Thank you. Carmen Elena. Car no, Carmen Lisset is right. Yes, Carmen Lisset. Uh, can you please tell me? What did you understood about what did you understand about the video? What's a good strategy to get a new employee enrolled with the new company's policies? Okay, well in the video talk about a different way or method to introduce uh, new employees, for example, is some of them say that the companies have to share the vision and expectatives of their goals and the companies need to, to create an employees that he's a part of something bigger. So the main, uh, the main idea is that the employees have to the companies, uh, the companies have to include him in the decision making process to the new to the new employees. Okay, perfect, perfect, nice opinion. Thank you. Uh, let's see. I'm going to ask Oscar. Oscar, are you here for the opinion? What is your understanding on the article? The article was about to ask for permission. What can you tell me, Oscar?
What's that? It's not here. What's that? What's that? It's not here. Eduardo, can you please help me? No? Okay, about the article, right? Yeah. Yeah, talk about actually about asking permission. That is something that is uh, maybe difficult at the companies because the bosses always have to to feel that they are in the top of the uh, hierarchy, right? So it's difficult for the employees, like maybe have a good idea, uh, maybe a good, uh, a, uh, for example, something to do. But the employ the bosses have to who, who know always the permission. If you don't ask about that, maybe it's gonna be a trouble for you. Perfect. Thank you so much. Basically, that is the main idea. Thank you. So continuing, guys, with the class. Well, so we can say that this is the main dish for tonight. <laughs> Yes, so the topic is how to use when and if to join clauses. All right, Karina, can you please help me reading the definition? Okay, to talk about situation and condition that are repeat or predict predictable, mm -hmm. uh, we can use either if or when plus present where from. Okay, remember that, bear that in mind. Repeated or predictable actions, conditions, and situations, okay? Yes. Now, uh, we have two structures for this particular topic, two structures. This is about grammar. Look, the structure number one, let's see. Lourdes, can you tell me how the structure number one is formed? Okay. Um, when, mm -hmm. if, mm -hmm. plus subject, plus verb in present tense, plus comma, um, comma mm -hmm. plus complement in present. Thank you. So this is how the sentences work. You can use either when or if. Yes. You choose one. You choose one. Remember when, cuando, if, si. And then the subject, any subject, but the verb has to be in present. The verb is always in present in this case. And okay. the complement is in present because this is like having two sentences in one. Let's see the example number one. Look, uh, if I study English every day, that is my first part of the sentence. If I study yes. English every day, you Come. see I have if here, comma, I have the opportunity to improve a lot. And I have my complement in the present tense, okay? Present, present. That, present, is, the, present. that is the structure. Present, okay. present. And you have to make sure that always you need the subject verb complement. Okay, look, look at this. You, you need the if. Okay, if. Yes. Then the subject is I. I. Okay. I. The verb in present tense is? Study. Study. Okay, the complement in this case is? English every day. English every day. English every day. Every day. Then you need the comma. In the middle, in the middle of the sentence, you have the comma. Yes. Then you need another complement in present, but that complement has to have subject, verb, and complement in the present tense, okay? The subject in the second sentence is? I have the I, opportunity. The verb is? Um, study. Have, have, no, have, 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 yes. Have. And the complement? Oh. The opportunity. Uh, to improve, improve a lot. A lot. A lot. Okay, improve. very good. Two sentences in one. Estamos viendo dos oraciones en una, okay? Yes. So if I say only, if I study English every day, does it make sense? <coughs> Tendría sentido si yo digo, si yo estudio inglés todos los días, 
No, because it's a conditional way. Only you don't write the what happened if you are doing that. Exactly. You need the cause and the effect. Effect. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are checking tonight. In the example number two, you use when. Look, in this structure, if and when are at the beginning of the sentence. In la estructura yes. número uno, el if y el when van al inicio de la oración. Pero es necesario que vaya una coma en medio, separando las dos oraciones, ¿ok? Ok. So, in number two, you, you use when, all right? When I study grammar. Ok, teacher, what happens? Ok, you continue. I easily understand the topics. When I study grammar, I easily understand the topics, all right? And the same structure. When uh, the subject in this case is... I. 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 The subject in the present tense is, I mean, the study. verb in the present tense, study, and the complement is grammar. grammar. That is the sentence number one, comma. What is the, the subject in the next uh, clause? I. 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 The verb? Easily. 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 No. Understand. Understand. Yeah. Understand. And it's the complement? Adjective. Easily, yeah. This is something like an adjective. Or yes. adverb. Facilmente. Adverb, mm -hmm. yes. Facilmente. Adverbio de manera, de forma. Mm -hmm. Okay? Facilmente, okay? And the complement is mm -hmm. the topic. Mm -hmm. All right? So, uh, is there something that you have a question about? Questions about sure. this? Yes? And, and is correct. Um, for example, when I study grammar, Mm -hmm. I understand the topics easily. Yes, it's possible okay. too. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Another question about the structure number one? Mm. No? No. No, okay. So the structure number two is this. In this case, we don't need a comma. Why? Because we have when and if in the middle of the sentence, pay attention. The structure number two is the subject, any subject, you need a verb in present tense and the complement, okay? Plus when or if, plus the subject, any subject, another verb in present tense and a complement, okay? Two sentences in one joined by when or if. Number one, I study English if I feel motivated. Okay, I study English if I feel motivated. What is the subject in this structure, in this sentence? I. I, okay. The verb in present tense is? Study. Study. So the complement? English. English. Here I use if. After if, what is my subject? I. 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 The verb? Feel. Feel. And the Feel. complement? Motivated. Motivated or uh, motivation, yes? Motivation. So in this case, in number two, what is my subject? My, my boss. My, my boss. boss, okay. Remember, not necessarily you have the subject. I, you, she, he, it, they, we, you. No, you can say or you can have any anything that you want to make sense in a sentence. I can say Edwin, Luis, uh, my friends, my family, my pet, whatever can be the subject, all right? So in this case, my boss is the subject. Thank you. And the, what is the verb? Call. Call. Oh. The complement? Us. 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 We use when, look in the middle. We don't have comma. And the other subject is? She. She. The verb in present? Mm -hmm. Has. Has. Yes, that is the main verb. Ese es el verbo principal. Has. Has to. 
And the complement, let's say. To tell us something really important. Yes, that's right. You see the difference? In the structure number one, you have when and if in the beginning of the sentence, but you need a comma in the middle, all right? In a structure mm -hmm. number two, you have if and when in the middle of the sentence and you don't need a comma. Is that right? Or do you have any question? Questions? Uh -huh. Questions? Repeat, repeat the difference, please. The difference, okay. In the structure, in the structure number one, Luis, you have when and if at the beginning of the sentence. Tenemos el when y el if al inicio de la oración y este una coma en medio de las dos oraciones. Recuerden que aquí estamos uniendo dos oraciones en una, ¿verdad? Estamos convirtiendo dos oraciones en una sola, ¿ok? Pero necesito yo eh, el when y el if para para que sean mis connectors, ¿ok? Eh, como un conditional. Pero necesito la coma en medio, ¿ok? Acá el if y el when me quedan al inicio. Después del if y el when, yo necesito una oración completa que contenga subject, verb, complement. Después viene la coma en medio y elaboro otra oración. Subject, verb in present tense. En the complement, ok? O sea, lo mismo, sujeto, verbo, predicado, ok? In the structure number two, you have when and if in the middle of the sentence. El when y el if en la estructura número dos van a estar en medio y allí ya no va a ser necesaria una coma, ok? Pero si sí, las oraciones tienen que estar completas, si se fijan la uno tiene eh, subject, verb, complement y la otra que está después del if. Subject, verb, complement. Y lo mismo sucede con la número dos. Ok. Do you have any other question? No more questions? Yo voy a hacer las preguntas entonces. Está bien. <laughs> ok. No. Right now we are about to write uh, examples. Vamos a ver los ejemplos que ustedes me puedan dar acá. If I go to the doctor, coma. Okay. If, Hello? Yes. If I, if I go to the doctor. Yes. He, he give me, he gives me a diagnostic. Medical diagnostic. Okay. Or medical diagnostic. Uh -huh. Or medical diagnostic. Okay, he gives me a medical, medical diagnostic. All right, thank you. Yes, you identify the present tense and the present tense. In this case, Carmen used if at the beginning of the sentence, right? And it's correct. Does anybody have another example, guys? Whether using if at the beginning or in the middle of the sentence? Yeah. When when I travel when I travel, travel mm -hmm. another country to another country mm -hmm. um, I I am happy Okay I am happy That's right I thought that you were about to say, I feel homesick. <laughs> okay. 
Thank you. Let's see another example, guys. Maybe in the middle. I go to I the buy, gym. I buy, a, I buy a car. Okay. If I have, if Luis, I have Luis, money. And then, Karina. Okay, Luis, go ahead. I buy a car uh -huh. if I have all the money. I buy a car if I, I have... I have all the money. Okay, if I, I have, have money. money. Okay, okay, thank okay. you. Karina? I go to the gym. Mm -hmm. when, when I feel motivated. Okay. Okay, I go to the gym when I feel motivated. Thank you. One more example, please. If One more. I, if I go to the party in this moment, mm -hmm. I can go to my job tomorrow. Okay, thank you. If I go to the party in this moment, I can't go to work tomorrow. Thank you. So I can see that this topic is clear, right? This is clear. But if it is not clear, we are going to practice in a little in a little while. Let's see, more examples. Here you have more examples. Um, this is in the book. This is the these are the examples that the book gives you. So you can see in this case, uh, they use when and if in questions, in questions. So you say, what do you do when you forget your tools for work? Okay, you see, what do you do when you forget your tools for work? And the next question is, what do you do if you miss the company transportation? Another example is, I ask for a backup set when I forget my tools. I call a taxi if I miss the company transportation. When I forget my tools, I ask for a backup set. If I miss the company transportation, transportation, yes, there's a mistake, I call a taxi, all right? So these are basically some other examples in question form. Do not complicate your life, you know, just pay attention in the structure. You know, you know these are the WH questions. What do you do? Okay. Uh, you need the auxiliary, do. You need the verb in present tense, always in present. This topic tonight is in present tense. Then you need the connector, when. And the complement that should be in the present tense. All right. So uh, let's see. Right now we have a um, a writing activity that it's going sure. to be. Yes. Tell me. Sorry, I have a question. Tell so me. So in this case, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you are using if or when. Always that you use the good structure. Uh, yeah. It matters because you have to make sense, all right? Okay. Remember, okay. remember the meaning for when and with if, all right? If is, well, both of them are like conditionals. So you gotta make sure what you have to mean to the other people. What is the message that you want to convey, all right? That is the only thing. When, cuando, if, si. Yes, okay. conditions. All right. So I was telling you that you're going to write a short paragraph, short paragraph about policies and procedures at your workplace. You have to use if and when, if and when, at least four lines, four lines, four different lines, all right? This is the activity number one. And the last one, just to finish, is this. Write if or when. That is what Carmen was asking, okay? In this case, Carmen, you will practice that. You will, you will think about, okay, do I use if or when, okay? That is the, the scenario in which you put in practice what you have learned, okay? 
So I don't know if you can make a screenshot, guys, and I'll send you to the breakout rooms to finish this exercise. Okay, tell me when you're ready. You ready? Yes. 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 Okay. So I'm going to send you to the breakout rooms. Maybe I'm going to redo the, the rooms again. I'm going to recreate. Okay. Go ahead. Casi no le estoy oyendo, casi no le escucho. ¿Y ahora? Ah, sí, sí. No. Porque acá, acá está lloviendo. Aquí está haciendo viento nada más. Here it's raining too. <laughs> okay, guys, I want you to make sure that you only have 20 minutes for this activity. 20 minutes, okay? So please... Uh, Think fast and try to work. Um, you you need to make a hurry up, okay? Yes. Twenty minutes to complete this activity. I'm going to be checking you in case that you need help. We the police the police police and produce. In function of the police. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Oscar, do you have an idea? Okay. If if you if you need a permission. If, if you need a permission. You can or you call write. You should uh, you, you should send an email. So, an email. And your boss. Call your boss. Hello, Anayansi and Danis. Hi, Miss. Are you working? Yes. Okay. Anayansi, don't forget to stay with me tonight after the class. One on one session. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. This is number one is when. When. Number two. If. Number two. If. If. Uh -huh. If the car crash, crash, crash. Mm. When. When también. When. Okay. Number three. Uh, I think if 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 he grab greater become an important right if in la cuatro también four 
Vamos a ver. The girl won't a sip. That's off. Okay. I think it's okay. Do you think it's okay, Luis? Um, service. You have service. A service. Uh -huh. Internet. If you have an internet service, inter internet service. Ah, okay. Internet service. Okay. Okay. Now with the second exercise. Yes. Why if or when? The first is you don't make any mistake. I will be glad. If you don't make any mistake, I will be glad. Eso en la, en la foto que compartió, verdad? Yes. If you don't, uh -huh. if you don't make any mistake, I will be glad. Mm -hmm. It's more, it's more logical if you use if. If you don't make any mistake, I will be glad. Yes. Number two. Eh, when the car crashed, mm, it was dark and raining heavily. I don't know. If the car crashed. If the car crashed, mm -hmm. it was dark and raining heavily. Are mm -hmm. you sure? Yes, if. Okay. Or when? <laughs> or, or when, teacher, if the car crashed, it was dark and rainy heavily. It was dark. Ah, no. Uh -huh. When the car crashed, mm -hmm. it was dark and rainy heavily. Is okay. when it's, it's a condition of time. Uh -huh. right? Okay. When, okay, number three. When? And number two is when, yes. Yes, in number three, two. He grew up, he became, an, yes, when he grew up. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When he grew up, he became an important writer. Yes. Number four, the girl won't accept that offer if he if paid. He, Mm -hmm. them, little do you, do you, well, are you working with Nelson? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, now, uh, mm -hmm. the first activities. Ah, okay, the writing activity. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, very good. Hi, Maya. Hi. Hello. Dolores have uh, Dolores have a problem with the audio. Oh. Her house is raining. Es que a lot. Aquí está lloviendo fuerte, teacher, y por la lluvia no 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 escucho bien. Okay. So Susie, you yes. can. I'm going to be here to supervise you to check okay. how you're doing. That's good. Okay. Let's okay. do it. I see it. Wait, wait a minute. Quiero mostrarle, quiero mostrarle los, los ejercicios que logramos hacer con ella. Uh -huh. con please. ¿Puede ver mi pantalla ahorita de Word? No. No, ¿verdad? No, Paint. Estoy viendo Paint. Okay, ahorita voy a ver. Quiero copiar esto aquí a ver. Ok. 
que esto es, ya no le estoy compartiendo, creo yo. No, ya no se ve. Ya no. Es que esto es lo que habíamos hecho. Okay, in number three. Let's see, in number three is not clear the meaning. Sellers have a root. Uh -huh. it, 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 it's an example in my work. If mm -hmm. the sellers change the road and don't communicate, if no authorization, they. O sea, los castigan por decir uh -huh. así. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, uh, I rather choose uh, if instead of when. Yo le diría mejor el if en vez del when, porque acá sí está bien como usted lo ha puesto, pero hay un detalle. Por cuestiones de gramática y puntuación, aquí yo tendría que dejar sellers have a root, punto. Ya el when iniciaría con mayúscula, ya no me estaría uniendo oh. dos ideas. Ajá. Sí está bien el ejemplo, pero por cuestiones de gramática y puntuación no se podría dejar así. Por eso le digo, lo ideal sería cambiar el when por el if. Vaya, sellers have a root. If they change it without authorization, they are penalized. Con oh, el okay. if estaría bien porque es un condition. Es una condition. Ok. Pongo la coma, ¿verdad? No, porque quedaría en medio. Vamos oh, a omitir yeah. el when en la 3. Vamos a omitir el when y lo vamos a cambiar por el if. Ok, ok. Ya hice el cambio. Quiero ver cómo queda. Ok, es the sign. Es this. Ya lo cambié. Ok. Está bien así ya. Ok. Uh -huh. Así se las. Entonces solo que Dolores corrija la parte de ella. Y voy a hacer este ahorita, pues. Aquí me voy solita porque voy a representar a Dolores. <risa> Dolores aquí, aquí. vendió la lluvia aquí para acá, estoy. Dolores. <risa> Acaba de empezar a llover fuerte acá. Aunque te das señales, así voy a hacer. <risa> <risa> si está ahí va a parpadear dos veces y si no está ahí va a parpadear una vez voy a levantar la mano okay. if you don't make any mistakes I will be glad ¿te parece Dolores? when the car crashes it was dark and raining heavily. When, when, when the car, when the car crashes, when. teacher, yes. Cuando ocupamos when y cuando if. Aquí nos vamos a basar en contexto. No sé si me pueden oír bien porque ya empezó a llover acá. Sí. Sí, ok. Vaya, el if significa sí. Te estoy dando como una condición. Ajá. Y el when significa cuándo. Ok. Entonces, acá yo lo que voy a buscar es la lógica. Ah, ok. Vamos a ver. Eh, acá teníamos, yo no have any mistakes. No tienen ningún error. I will be glad. Voy a estar... Eh, orgullosa, tranquila. Entonces, si yo si yo pongo when, do, when you don't make any mistakes, I would be glad. ¿Sonaría bien? ¿O sonaría mejor si yo digo if you don't make any mistakes, I would be glad? ¿Sonaría mejor como lo tiene Susie, verdad? If you don't make any mistakes, 
I will, I will be glad. Okay? Okay, it was um Okay, ¿Está de acuerdo con las otras? ¿Colores? Sí. ¿A dos? Sí, sí. No, sí, no rain in there. No llueve ahí, sí. ¿Cómo no? ¿Llueve? A fuerte, pero está gritando. Ah, pues estamos en el mismo país. The doctor will find the king of the king. If he starts to work in this case. El detective encontró el... When. The when. Thing is when. When she borrowed the money, she will spend it quickly. Uh -huh. Quickly. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. 16. Six, 16 is... Henry, Henry get some sleep. If he is very tired. If he's very if, tired. If, if, if he visits his friend, he often brings in something. Or when? No, if. I think it's if. What is, the, what is the number of the exercise? 17. 17. 17. When he visits his friend, he often reads his something. When? When? Yes, when? When? Okay. Guys, is it raining there? No, you're ahí? Yes. Very hard. 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 Very If they if 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 okay. 19. When? When her baby. When? when? Her baby cry. And then she okay. gets Mary. Mary, thank you. Uh -huh. And 20, Mary will make her bed. When? When he's. When he has time. When? When? Okay. Okay. Casi no les escucho. No es, no es if. Me viene bien fuerte. Mary will make her bed if he time if he, if he has time. Oh, if, Mary if, will if make Benny, her bed when he has time. He has time. Wow. Okay. Yes. We finish. Okay, so you are ready now. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Uh, like two more minutes for the people who haven't finished, okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Did you finish? Finish. You finish. Okay. So yes. we are going to share the answers right now. Let me see. Hello? Can you hear? Yes. Uh, when? It's raining. Yeah. Huh? It's raining, right? <laughs> yes.
Okay, guys, we are uh, going to continue with this class. Well, almost the end of this class. It's raining so hard. Good for those who are about to sleep right now. Okay, so let's see. Lourdes, do you want to share with me your paragraph about policies and procedures at your workplace? Yes, teacher. Um, okay. When you are a new employee, you have to wear uniform every day. Uh, when you go to a plant, you have to wear a helmet. If you show up late, you receive a notification. And you can do to a virtual meeting if you have an internet service. Thank you. Karina, what about you? Can you share your paragraph with us? Okay. If you need a permission, you should send an email for the boss with anticipation. But if you don't have, if you have an emergency, you should call in your boss immediately. And the other is, if I arrive late, my, um, sorry, if I arrive late to my job, my boss, uh, reply me. But if I arrive on time, it doesn't happen. Thank you very much. Uh, let me see one more participation. <laughs> Jesse, can you please turn off your microphone? Jesse, microphone off, please. I don't know, teacher. Apaguemos el micrófono, please, Ana Jesse. Okay. Thank you. Hey guys, yes, you see your paragraph. Okay. I can hear you. Is with me? Yes, Susie. Ah, okay, okay. If I am frequently late, the company deducts me for my payment. Okay. I have another if you want. Yes. Sellers have a road. If they change it without authorization, there are penalties. Okay. And the other one, because I read three. Yes. If we do not comply with the seal regulations, they can place us a fee. A fee. Okay. Thank you very much. Now we are going to check these guys. If we have time. What do you have for number one? If. 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 Okay. Number two. And. When. 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 Okay. Number three. When. When. Okay. Number four. If. 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 Number five. If. When. When. Uh -huh. when. 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 Number six. If. 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 When. 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 Number seven. Number six. What is? <laughs> when. Number six is when. 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 Number seven. If. If. Let me see. Hi. Yes. Number eight. When. 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 Yes. Number nine. If. If. Yes. Number ten. 
Present teacher. Hello teacher, lo siento, pero hoy casi no escucho porque <ríe> está lloviendo bien fuerte. Intento tener el micrófono lo más cercano que puedo a, a mi voz para que pueda escucharme bien, ¿verdad? porque igual acá casi no se escucha porque está lloviendo bien fuerte. También. Estamos, okay. bueno, ya, sí. Cualquier consulta, eh, tiene este espacio, tenemos 10 minutos para... para 
platicar ahí de lo que ustedes sé? Vaya, por lo de ahora sería, este, no entiendo cuándo va la palabra if o when. En el ejercicio que puso, eh, estaba... En el ejercicio. Ajá, el de, los, de las figuras. En este, ajá. Okay, ajá. Yo me estaba fijando de que cada vez que va la palabra you y después de la coma está el I, siempre va el when o el okay. if. if. Acá Anaya sí lo que les decía a los compañeros, ¿no? que aquí tendríamos que leer el complemento para después analizar. ¿Qué palabra voy a usar? Si el if o el when, ya que oh. el, el, ¿cómo se llama? El if en español significa sí y el when significa cuándo. Bueno. Entonces sería de buscar la lógica al complemento de la oración para yo deducir cuál voy a usar. Le muestro los ejemplos que aparecen en el manual de, de Insa. Uh -huh. Acá tenemos... Eh, a ver, la oración. I ask for a backup set when I forget my food. Yo pido que respalden mis cosas. O sea, pido un respaldo, una ayuda cuando se me olvidan mis herramientas. ¿okay? Pido un respaldo se me olvidan mis herramientas aquí yo estoy usando el when si se fija ¿okay? Okay. entonces eh, cuando acá uso el if veamos el contexto I call a taxi, yo llamo un taxi if I miss the company transportation si pierdo el transporte de mi compañía ¿verdad? ¿Sí? acá yo estoy hablando más que todo de una condición de algo que no fue usual que pasara, ¿sí? algo que no fue común que pasara. ¿Sí? Acá tenemos que usamos el buen, acá arribita en el cuadrito el buen, usamos el buen para situaciones que son comunes, situaciones comunes. Y el if se va a usar para las situaciones que no son comunes. Entonces... Acá podemos ver que usé el when, ¿por qué? Ah, se me olvidaron, bueno, en caso de que se me olviden mis herramientas, yo puedo pedir ayuda, o sea, es común, es normal que cualquier persona de la empresa pueda pedirme eh, ayuda, yo les puedo ayudar, o ellos me ayuden a mí, ¿ok? Ellos me ayudan, yo les ayudo, eso es común que pase en la empresa, por eso uso el when. Pero si no fuera común que eso pasara en mi empresa, yo usaría el if, porque el. es una condición. Ajá. Es algo que no comúnmente pasa. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Esa sería la, la... Y buena pregunta, de hecho, creo que, creo que no, no, no la hicieron esa pregunta en clase, pero igual, como ya habíamos visto este recuadro, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Acá está la clave. Aquí está la clave, muy buena pregunta, Nayansi, sí, solo hay que tener eso en mente, el when para situaciones que no son comunes, bueno, para situaciones que son comunes, y el if para las que no son comunes. Son ¿okay? comunes. Exacto. Okay. Esa sería la diferencia, y también fijarnos en el contexto de la oración para ver cuál voy a usar, cuál es el que mejor se apega a lo que yo quiero transmitir. Ajá, se tiene que analizar entonces cada oración para poder. Exacto. Ok. También en la, en la parte de ayer, como yo ya no pude, ¿Ah? eh, no sé qué, o era complemento de lo que estaban viendo ahora, siempre del, del when y el if. El put, es usted. Ay, permítanme, voy a ver si tengo la presentación acá. Estábamos viendo el día de ayer, vimos el put, how to use put. Ese fue el tema de ayer, fue la clase 17. 
Más o menos se le fue la conexión ayer, Ah, solo llevaba quizás. ¿Qué no ves? En el, en el primer break room, ¿qué nos pasó? Eh, estábamos acá. No sé si puede ver mi pantalla. Sí, sí. Ahí nos quedamos. No. Bueno, yo sí. Ahí. ¿Sí? En este caso, Ana Yancy, estábamos hablando del could. could. Es, se escribe could, pero la forma correcta de pronunciar esta palabra es could. could. Sin la L, ¿verdad? Y sin la O. Could. Oh. Este, este es un verbo, un modal verb, así se les conoce en inglés, modal verb, y expresa un tipo de posibilidad. Posibilidad, suggestion, sugerencia, ¿verdad? O algo. Acá eh, le decía yo que teníamos la estructura, el subject, que en el primer ejemplo sería you. Luego tendríamos el could, que sería el modal verb. Y tendríamos un verb in present, un verbo en presente y el complement, complemento. Después de put, esa palabra de re, 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 o request. Request. Pedir. Request. 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 Pedir o solicitar. Tú solicitas ahora. Un día, un día libre. Oh. Un día libre. Ok. Vaya. Eh, entonces, la estructura, aquí no le haga caso a este should. Creo que fue un error de impresión que hizo que quedara así el should por el tema anterior, el que vimos el lunes. Entonces, este es el tema del martes, sería could. Entonces, la estructura sería subject, could, verb y complement. ¿okay? Y como le decía, ¿verdad? Aquí estamos hablando de posibilidades. Entonces, viene usted y dice, you could request a day off. Podrías pedir un día libre. Usted está sugiriéndole a alguien más en su empresa que pida un día libre, ¿verdad? Si yo le digo a Nayansi, you could, you could eh, finish the platform tonight. Tú podrías finalizar la plataforma esta noche. Exacto, le estoy dando una sugerencia, una posibilidad. ¿Ok? Y eso era lo que estuvimos viendo ayer, del could. Acá tenemos otros dos ejemplos. Eh, she could explain her situation. Ella podría explicar su situación. Sí. Y, y el otro, we could take the company's transportation. Take the company's nosotros podríamos tomar la compañía o el transporte de la compañía. Exacto, el transporte de la compañía. Muy bien. Luego eh, tuvimos una actividad en grupos en la cual escribían con el could situaciones. Basándose en las situaciones escribían una posibilidad. Por ejemplo, la primera situación era, you don't have a car, no tienes un carro. ¿Qué puede hacer entonces? ¿Qué puede sugerir? ¿Cuál puede ser una posibilidad? Ah, usted dice. Eh, you, could, you could have a car. Ajá, podría tener uno o también you could buy a car. Podrías comprar un carro. You could use public transportation. Podría usar el transporte público. ¿verdad? Dando sugerencias, eso es lo que estuvimos viendo en este ejercicio. Okay. Luego crearon una conversación basándose en una de esas situaciones. Y por último teníamos este ejercicio en el cual ellos ponían en orden las palabras para formar oraciones y preguntas. ¿verdad? Una pregunta era la que había nomás y bueno, eso fue prácticamente okay. todo. Ese no, ese no me lo puede mandar, el de la, de cómo formarlas correctamente el orden de la pregunta. Este. No, el donde, donde dice que estuvieron formadas. Ese. Ah, el de, vaya, el de la pregunta es 
este, mire, ahorita le muestro. Ay, eh, si usted quiere formar una pregunta, porque si sí, el tema no se basó en las preguntas, sino que se basó solo en oraciones. Las preguntas las vamos a ver más adelante. Ah, vale. Para que tenga como un adelanto, eh, le puedo mostrar, ¿verdad? Que la forma de pregunta con el put quedaría así. WH question plus. WH question plus. Y las preguntas cerradas, que sería eh, la segunda opción, put, las que empiezan directamente con el put. Ah. Esa sería la estructura. Ok, está bien. Gracias, teacher. Okay. No more questions, Ana Yancy. No. Ok. So, you understand the topics, yes? No, mm, ya me va a descargar también la compu. Ah, ¿se le descargó la computadora? Sí, es que como me vine para adentro. Ah, ok. So, no more questions, no más preguntas entonces. No, no más. Ok, Anayasi, thank you. Gracias por quedarse Gracias. conmigo, Anayasi. Okay? Gracias. Un gusto. Cuídense y pase buenas noches. Good night. Hey, good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs>